The August U.S. jobs report came in weaker than expected, with the economy creating fewer jobs than what was forecasted. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reporting 142,000 new jobs during the month, well below that forecasted estimate of 161,000. I'm joined now by Chris Mediate with Mediate Financial Group. Thank you so much for being here. You know, we are seeing job loss or negative growth in the retail sector and the manufacturing sector. What's happening? What's causing this? Right now, Lindsay, and you're looking at what's going on, we're starting to see slowdowns, right? As you mentioned in those particular sectors, what the main cause is, they're not firing right now. So the job market is not firing. The good news of that is, okay, we're, we're just seeing less jobs now. So what's happening is they're just not hiring. So when we start looking at that data, it's just sort of working its way downhill that it is starting to show weakness. Companies are kind of tightening up and I think that's why you're noticing the numbers come in so soft, according to what we're seeing. So with the slowdown in the business sector, essentially, is that a sign that the economy could be cooling? It, it is. I mean, we're, we're there uh, as far as here's the thing. We're slowing down. We are losing momentum. That has been the story that's going to happen. I think the Federal Reserve has been very aware of that, Lindsay, simply because this is what they tried to do. They put inflation first and then worrying about what comes later. And so this is kind of part of what happens. And so the bigger things is we don't want to see, as we keep mentioning, growth rollover. That's why this labor market is going to be really important to seeing how we end up, whether a hard landing or a soft landing, and it's going to tee up what the Federal Reserve is going to do forward. So they're very concerned with this labor market right now. And that is paying attention to when we're seeing businesses slow down. This is a sign, a telltale sign of that. We are definitely losing economic momentum. Yeah, and you mentioned the landings and we're hearing the R word get thrown around by a lot of economists. Do you think we could be headed for a recession? And if so, what would define that? What kind of data do we need to see? Yeah, I mean, so right now, here's the thing. I think we hear the R word that is that is going to be commonplace. I don't think it is imminent right now. I think if you looked at even the data today, like we're talking about the jobs market, we look at the data all week. It was, you know, not terribly, I was surprised really, to be honest, the way the market has reacted to it today, because it kind of came into, as we say, not too weak, and not too hot, which then definitely sets the tone for the rate cuts that the Federal Reserve has mentioned is gonna happen in September. So I don't think based on the data that a recession is imminent. And I think that if, again, we keep watching, as you mentioned, what are we looking at? Keep watching the cooling job market. And if it, we start to see, because here's the thing, I said it's, 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 they're not hiring, but this is the first sign of weakness that might start to see layoffs. If we start to see high layoffs, Lindsay, that's going to be the bigger sign to start pushing those hard landing worries and the recession worry. Yeah. I just don't think we're there yet. Okay, good to know because I know a lot of us remember the last recession and it started with you know layoffs yeah. and it was a slow trickle and then the end of yes. the year really tipped over. Now, how large of an interest rate cut, real quick before we go, might we see when the Fed decides? Yeah. So, so again, I'm still in the camp. I said this last time we talked. I think that the numbers have still pointed that this will only be a 25 basis point rate hike, at least at this point. Um, and I think they did leave the door open, though, Lindsay, for more aggressive cuts later in the year. And what's going to set that tone is they're really watching this labor market. And if it continues to slow too much, you will see the pace of interest rate cuts happen. All right, Chris Mediate, thank you so much as always. Great expertise. Thank right. you for joining me here at 5. You, you bet. Thanks for having me.